In today's video, we're going to be talking about three different ways silver can go back to $50 an ounce. And I'm also going to be going live in the VIP club tonight around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link in the description if you want to join. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about three different ways silver could make its way back up to the $50 an ounce mark. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. It's currently 86 degrees outside. It's beautiful out here. Why be inside when you could be outside filming another video outdoors? The current spot price of silver as I'm recording the video is $27.29. A red day for silver down 38 cents and gold is $1,833.80. Big red day for gold as well down $24.90 and the gold to silver ratio is currently in the 66 to 67 range. Of course that's as I'm filming the video head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today I wanted to talk about three different ways silver could make its way back up to $50 an ounce. The first one I'm going to talk about, so a little bit on the negative side. The second one I want to talk about, it's a little bit more on the positive side. And the third I want to talk about isn't necessarily something that's ever happened before, at least not to the severity of what I'm going to be talking about in the video. We'll save that for a little bit later. The first one I want to talk about, I want to run through very, very quick because number one, it's kind of negative and two, I don't want to be too repetitive because this is probably the most common thing we talk about in terms of the spot price going up over time. And this is also a little bit of an extension on yesterday's video. If you tuned in, it was talking about whether or not I believe silver could go back to the $50 range and if I think it's going to be sustainable if and when it climbs back to 50 bucks. Today, I want to talk about three different ways it can go back to 50 bucks, starting with economic hardships. It could be on a micro level, it could be on a macro level, it could be 2020 2.0, it could be inflation, and by the way, with how many dollars they've printed over the last year alone, let alone in the last 50 years, They've been printing the dollar bill into oblivion. This pretty much goes without saying. This is pretty much common knowledge. I'm not sharing any secrets of what goes on over at the good old Federal Reserve. This is something that we're all aware of. And even though they're printing the dollar bill like crazy people, oftentimes the prices of everything going up are pretty much overlooked because it's slow, it's steady, it's gradual. Nobody seems to notice. Nobody really seems to care either. I care, and you better believe I notice. Every time I go to the store, for the last couple of months, seems like every week, the grand total is a little bit higher than the week before. It used to cost me about 45 to $50 a week, every week to buy a week's worth of groceries. Now, it's anywhere between 50 and 60. Again, not very much, but I notice. But it doesn't just go for inflation. It can go for a lot of different things. Economic uncertainty, when people don't know what's gonna be going on. Now, this is something that usually happens around elections. Nobody knows who 
the winner is going to be and whoever wins are they going to be changing policies are they going to be implementing new policies are they going to raise taxes are they going to be doing a lot of reckless spending is this going to happen is that going to happen is there going to be regulation are they going to crack down on this what's going to be going on a lot of the time during times like these aka shortly before election day of 2020 a lot of people get a little bit frantic and a lot of people liquidate their positions and take the cash and put it into silver and gold mostly gold but a lot of people put it into silver as well so out of nowhere the demand starts to go up and oftentimes when the demand of anything goes up that usually means the supply goes down and we see prices begin to rise so whether it be inflation whether it be economic uncertainty whether it be this or whether it be that that's the first one I wanted to talk about during times of economic hardships or when people are financially struggling or financially fearful the price can go up aka spot price could make its way back to the $50 an ounce mark we've seen it happen once we've seen it happen just about a second time I think it was $49 and change about 10 years ago but we've seen it happen we know that it's possible it could happen again moving on into the second way silver could potentially make its way back to the $50 an ounce mark now like I said this one is a little bit more on the positive end maybe not for those of us who are still in hardcore acquisition mode those of us who want as much physical silver as we can possibly get our hands on those of us who maybe just got started stacking recent months recent years like myself it's only been about three and a half years for me I consider myself to be almost brand new I consider myself to be a rookie in a way three and a half years is not a very long time to be doing anything so I'm still in acquisition mode and I love the red days like today for example silver's down what 30 something cents I love days like this in fact I wish it would go lower in fact I would love to see spot price get smacked again but that's not the case necessarily when it comes to number two on the list which is the global silver demand steadily gradually or potentially rapidly increasing over time as we're moving more and more and more into the digital age silver is becoming more and more and more in demand and even previously before the digital age before all the chips before all the solar panels before all the electronic silver was still used in thousands and thousands and thousands of different ways so silver was a very important industrial metal and it still is but now more uses are being added to the list because of how important and crucial and useful the metal really is so as time goes by the demand's going to go up and what did I just say before as the demand goes up usually that means the supply goes down there's not an infinite amount of silver let's be honest there's going to come a time where the supply really tightens up and this could absolutely drive the spot price back to the $50 an ounce range and by the way the title of this video and everything I said earlier in the video is talking about silver going back to $50 an ounce I didn't say anything about the spot price necessarily going to $50 an ounce but silver going to $50 an ounce of course in the first two examples out of three I talked about why spot price can go to $50 an ounce but it's not just about spot price very important to remember now moving on into the third let's talk about stack price for those of you who do not know or for those of you who forgot I came up with a concept that I call stack price it's spot price plus about five dollars at the moment because right now at this specific point in time I would say five dollars is a pretty average premium across the board of course 
there are slightly higher premium coins. There are coins going for six or seven dollars over spot. Of course, there are coins going for three or four dollars over spot. So I like to meet in the middle. The happy medium is about five dollars over spot. Regardless if you're going for maple leaves or generic rounds or 90% silver, a lot of the time five dollars over spot per troy ounce seems to be pretty average right now. Keep in mind, that's right now. Who's to say that in another year and a half, maybe spot price completely takes off, or maybe it doesn't. Maybe spot price doesn't move at all. But maybe the premiums are what begin to move in an upward direction, even more so. Now, I don't mean to speak anything into existence. I don't mean to push any bad juju or anything like that. But hey, we saw what happened last year in 2020. We saw them crank up the premiums. If they cranked up the premiums once, anything's possible. They can crank up the premiums again, similar to what I said about spot price. Spot price went to $50 an ounce once. Therefore, we know that it's possible. Therefore, it's not far-fetched to say that it could potentially happen again. So what if that were to happen with the premiums? What if the spot price doesn't move, but the premiums move? What were to happen if the stack price ends up becoming spot price plus about $10? So the stack price, the out-the-door grand total stack price would be about $37 because $10 added to about $27 right now. But what if the premiums go up even more? Or what if spot price goes up and premiums go up and the two added together equate to about $50? Remember, it's not just about spot price. Stack price is important too. You have to pay attention to stack price. If you're dollar cost averaging, if you're paying attention, if you're trying to get the most bang for your buck, premiums are a little bit of a roadblock. Premiums stand in the way. Premiums interfere with our strategies. And unfortunately, there's not a whole lot we can do about that. So it's the whole adapt and overcome right now. But all I'm saying is premiums could go up. So could spot price, but do not forget about the premiums. Do not underestimate what some of these $100 million websites with global customer bases are willing to do for more cash. Why be a $100 million website? Why not be a $200 million website? Do not underestimate what they are willing to do to get more of your currency in their pockets, which is why I always say support your local coin shop. Your local coin shop is a small business. Nine times out of 10, they have a more fair premium than a lot of the online sellers. I'm not going to say to boycott any of the online sellers, but I'm personally no longer shopping with them unless, of course, it's something that I'm unable to get from a coin shop that I really, really want, such as the Type 2 Silver Eagles. I made an exception for those. I'll make an exception for a little gold coin every now and then or if I see a sale on 90%. But other than that, I'm sticking to the local coin shops. I'm not really interested in supporting the massive $100 million corporations. I would rather put my dollars in the pocket of a small business because small businesses, at least in my opinion, are the backbone of the entire economy. And after the year we just had last year, I think they needed a little bit more than the mega millionaires and billionaires, but that's just me. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what do you think is the most likely way for silver to make its way back up to the $50 mark? Do you think it's going to be the spot price climbing over time? Maybe due to inflation or economic hardships where the dollar bill is getting weaker? Do you think that is what is going to cause the silver to become stronger? Do you think it's just going to be more of a global silver demand as we move further and further and further into the digital age? Or do you think it might have very little to do with spot price? Maybe stack price is what's going to cause the grand total amount to equate to $50 when it comes to the beautiful white precious metal. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. It's also going to be going live tonight around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout-outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites, and of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. A bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' T-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? In reference to silver making its way back to the $50 an ounce mark, do you think it's going to be spot price hitting $50 an ounce? Or do you think it's going to be stack price? hitting $50 an ounce. Which one do you think is more likely? Or do you think it might be a little bit of a combination? Do you think maybe due to inflation and the global silver demand increasing over time, driving up the spot price and the premiums on top of that being beefed up, which really set it over the $50 an ounce mark? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.